like i did say we're going to be going back we are going back yo girl we are going back into our beauty content hey everybody welcome to my channel for those joining us for the very first time welcome y'all welcome hi my name is orlunda hello i was feeling inspired today i decided to like come in here and create this beauty look that i've been thinking about in my head and i really don't know what it's going to look like or what the outcome will be but um we're here now <laughs> I am going to use the ultimate eyeshadow by Hana Nangula. You have already seen it on my channel a couple of times. Basically, that's what it looks like. And then I'm going to use the neon um, palette from Huda Beauty. There's this yellow and there's that yellow and pink that I want to use from the palette. And maybe I'll use this one here. This quad here from um signature when i'm putting my under eye under eyebrow hey <laughs> with this concealer from um nyx born to glow And then start my base off with then the Hana Nangula eyeshadow. I'm going to use these three colors here to create a base at the top. This here, what we're doing now is literally called transition shade. And for those who don't know, this is the shade that you put on that creates a good, um, what do you call it, position between you cleaning your, just under the eyebrow and wherever you start your colors. So that there's always a good um, transition between your, your colors on the lid to then your brow. As you can see, I'm holding my brush right here at the end of it simply because then this helps the color not to be so much on the when I apply. I'm literally doing it lightly because I really want it to be a very light transition to look very natural, not so harsh, you know, and I don't want such a deep pigment from the brush. I just want a little bit. Then under that, I'm going to go in with the orange shade. This one here, La Mirage. And I'm not really going on top of that shade, I'm going just under and then blend it into the color but not really over that color. You can still see the two layers that, that is on the eye.
And then I'm going to go in with a dark shade and I'm going to use black because I want black mostly. I don't really know where this whole makeup look is going to go. But we're going to trust the process. <laughs> and I'm putting it right in my crease. The thing about eyeshadow and um, winning at the eyeshadow game is, is is literally practice. Like if you don't try out looks on yourself and different way to brush and all of that, you, you will never perfect your eyeshadow game. I'm gonna go in with Pretty by Flo Mar, and this is a very whitish concealer, very light. Simply because I want to put it here, because I've already created now that barrier there, so I'm gonna try and create the same barrier. What am I saying? I'm trying to create like a half moon situation here in the center. Also, I'm putting this in here because I'm thinking I want to put something orange or yellow here in the center. At this point, even this is a look. <laughs> I'm going to start off with this neon going in with yellow. Huda Beauty neon and see how this yellow will show up. Trial and error, guys. Literally, this is a trial and error. If you see this, it worked out. Ooh, I like the way that it's showing up. And also the other thing about this um, this type of looks is that you need multiple brushes for different colors just so if you need to go in again and use a different shade you don't mix up the colors and you, and you don't cross the colors you know what I mean the like yellow must just be yellow and black is black because otherwise if you put another shade on here especially if you create this like where you want to see the different colors and you use the same brush at the end of the day you're going to mix a color and then it's, instead of like you getting red you get blue or purple you know what i mean so you want to have multiple brushes for random looks like this that requires such a um i think a level of like different colors i don't even know where my english went but 
you get the gist let's just yeah and a look like this requires a lot of like clean up and going back into your work like now my my orange has gone so far off now i need to go back there in the place of the blue the black and just go and clean up there where the black is supposed to be because i still want my black hit the edge right um i quite like it like this technically but i feel like i want to put a little bit of more shade up here but i don't know what i want to do maybe i'm going to go into like a pink and see how the pink adheres up there And then with the brush that I used to put the first um, transition shade, I'm going to go in that pink and black. I mean, they are the pink and just blend. I like this yellow so much <laughs> I feel like I wanna put it all the way to the inner corner this look is not turning out to be exactly how I thought it would go I just covered the black in my inner inner eye inner corner of the eye and, and now I'm using the yellow from the quad of signature And that somehow creates a different type of dimension on the eye also because now it's not the yellows are too different the yellow from the signature one is shimmery while the yellow from the neon huda beauty is matte see it's not even showing up nicely it's like a very matte shade hard to get a yellow to show up so I think that's thing that impresses me most about this and again this goes to show I'm gonna keep this video I literally will and just keep it in as a look because let this be a lesson that some of the look sometimes just go however they want to go might not be how you wanted it to be the first time and it might be a little bit weird, but you see as you practice that you get good at it. And then also you learn how different shades, you know, like show up on your skin and how different a look can be like this. That's why it's so easy sometimes to say, oh, like for me, I'll be like, oh, I really want to create a simple look. And then the look just takes its a life of itself this is one of those now this whole look just take oh, took a whole life of itself without me having to do anything so this is where we are i 
and by the time we put lashes on and all of that this is going to be one of those eye looks where i'm going to be like i'm so impressed even though technically it was almost like a mistake type of look this is not where i was thinking i was gonna go at all in my mind i was doing that whole half moon halo situation Okay, I think I'm going to leave it like that and not really temper with it. Otherwise, I'm not going to really be happy. But I like the way that the yellow popped up with the pink at the top. If you can really see the pink. I'll be so sad if you can't see the pink. I'm going to leave it now. Because the more I play with it, the more I'm going to change my mind about how I want this look to go. So I popped on lashes and then I'm now trying to figure out what lip I want. So I'm going to start off with blue and of course I did my wiggy key. I'm trying to figure out what lip color I think suits this look. Wow, blue looks so pretty. Hey then, blue it is. So basically, this is then the look. I'm trying to catch over here. This looks looks so pretty. I didn't even put earrings on. You can hardly see. But this is like a just a bob that I put together quickly. But ew, this is so cute. Oh wait, I didn't highlight. I didn't highlight. Just a little highlight. I'm done. I must at least give you a nose one. At least my nose must be like pop. <laughs> what is this? Okay. But this is the final look. And I love the way that it turned out. It really turned out so pretty. And though my lipstick must still be done properly. It turned out to be so cute. I love it. I love the blue lip. I love the yellow and the pink there at the top of the eyebrows. I love how subtly I had to, I decided to go with the eyebrows today. My wig is not cooperating, but we'll get her together. I really, really love how this whole look turned out. Let me know what you guys think about this. We're really inspired today to sit down and film, and so I'm really happy I did. Yay! Us! <sighs> okay. This is basically the final look, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more looks. <laughs>